We're at a Airbnb and Young Young is right over there. So I'm gonna show you this Air Airbnb that we're at. Ready? Here's the bed. And then, and then there she is right there. And then, oh, I think, I think we've been here. Actually, this is our little Airbnb and this is uh, our basement. So uh, let me give you the quick tour. So here's the bathroom and you get the whole bathroom here. So you might ask us, so why would we want to do Airbnb at our own home? Well, because money. We wanted to get at least a bare minimum project so we can make some money. And if you're here for one night, that's over $70. So that's a good deal in your pocketbook. When we listed, we were kind of scared that like, is someone actually going to stay here? I mean, what you see is basically what we started with. Part of the reason why we were so scared is that if you look at this place, it's just one room. It's pretty big. Let me go way over here. It's pretty big, but um, we were kind of scared that the other places, they had all the amenities. They had a, a full kitchen. This place doesn't have a kitchen and we, we eventually want to get a kitchen, but it's basically just a bed. When looking at the other properties, we were like, wow, they have this and that. They have a TV. We don't even have a TV. We just have internet, but they have a TV and kitchen, maybe a, a laundry room or closer to the cities, but some of them are more expensive, but some of them were really, really cheap, like under 40 bucks on a night. And we were like, that's so cheap. How are we gonna compete against that? All of their bookings were filled out for another month. But if you had a book this week, we were the only choice. So that's that's our advantage is we not really, we don't really need a book out way in advance, but if someone really needed the place, we were the only option. So that's kind of our strategy in, in this Airbnb. That's probably a double-edged sword. So um, you're welcome for having a place to stay. It's a win-win, I guess. <laughs> so this was one of the surprises that we found out when running an Airbnb, is that you lose a little bit of freedom to roam around in your house and do whatever you want. So you have to be kind of quiet for them and not play movies really loudly or make a very big cooking video show of Young Young Tuan Tuan. <laughs> so our first host, we were like really scared. Who is this person going to be? and we have to be really quiet for them. So let's tiptoe across and uh, we were both really quiet to each other. And I think after the, the second person, we were kind of like, okay, well, let's just be kind of more normal. Most recently, we also just added a lock to the door. So that was probably the most questionable thing with our listing was uh, we didn't have a lock on the sliding glass door. What? So it was just, this locking me mechanism and you couldn't put your key in it. Um, so this wasn't, didn't exist before. So if you go through the sliding door, you have a porch. And in, the, in that porch, you have two chairs. Very simple. You got some sport toys. No one's used these yet, but badminton. We got our backyard. And when they exit there, they can walk up this hill. And we have a, a gate there that we open up. And they go through this gate and out to, to our driveway. So I'm guessing in the comments below ours, everyone's just like, hey, how much money are you making actually? And uh, we only have two weeks of experience of doing this. And we've only had four, four guests and 25% of the time has been booked here and I want to say that we've we've gotten $400 for around two weeks and we've only had four guests so you could probably say we'll make $800 per month so far crunching the numbers we're very happy with that even with the time spent with doing all the cleaning and restocking things and and I think the Airbnb guests are very happy with what they've gotten and we want we want to improve on that experience but am I missing anything L let me know in the comments below we can answer away any questions that you may have. Well, it's a good feeling that you have a little side business. I can rent out my own room if I wanted to. I can rent out maybe the, the main area if I wanted to. That, those are kind of my feelings, is just the excitement that you can take something that you already own and make money from it. We hope to have many more experiences with our guests, hopefully all positive. So if you have a house and you have a space available, why not become an Airbnb host? 
And if you're interested, click the link below to start your own Airbnb experience. All right, I think that's it. So hope to see you in the next video and talk to you again later. Peace.